going to get a lot of this bullshit with Chelsea. <coughs> <coughs> Today, I'm your host, Chelsea. Today, we will be addressing two topics. The first one, my good man's B.I. leaving YG Entertainment and Icon altogether. Two is, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, two is this man's, I don't know what the heck his name is, but him saying some ignorant shit so first let's talk about random mans from parkland i'm sorry that you had had to experience something as like horrific and traumatizing as the parkland shooting no one should ever have to face something like that but i'm not sorry that you didn't get accepted into harvard because like my dude what the heck did you think was gonna happen? That's like me saying, hey, yo, I fucking hate dogs, bro. And then I'm applying for a job at Petco. And now imagine me, a black person, on the Harvard campus, and I'm just chilling there, and then they accept you, a person who's racist. I don't feel safe on my own campus. Now, why would they want the students that they already have to feel unsafe just for one student that they're gonna accept? Like, I don't know how to explain it, but like, and I'm not saying, like, Harvard, the admissions officers and everybody who works at Harvard are, like, 100% inclusive. I'm not even in college, and I'm not an admissions officer, but I know enough to know that they're not just looking at your grades, and they're not just looking at your SAT scores. Like, yeah, those are very big, like, um, those are very big factors, and, like, yeah, they still hold weight, but they're not just looking at those things. And an institution as big as Harvard, like, man, you got to be careful. You got to make sure your, your stuff is squeaky clean. And then on top of that, you're a Parkland survivor. So, like, they're going to be, oh, shoot. It's a Parkland survivor. Oh, shit. A rat. There's a rat. There's a motherfucking rat. So, like. I don't know. I think that it would make sense. Like, I would personally look you up. I'd be like, what, what's going on? Like, I, I just want to know how you carry yourself on social media and stuff. Because it's not like you're just some random, like, racist kid from, like, freaking Florida. You're, like, a random racist kid who has been, like, put into, like, the public eye because of this, like, unfortunately tragic. Unfortunately tragic. I, I think, is that a double negative? I don't know. Because of that tragic event. Like, a lot of people know you. A lot of people see you. So now, if a lot of people know that she's saying the N-word, how is they going to look for Harvard? when they accept you, you know what I'm saying, and then he goes on TV talking about some, I'm not that kid anymore, I have changed, shut up, I, I don't believe you for a second, I've, bro, I don't even, <laughs> I, you're, you're only saying that, and it's so obvious, because they didn't accept you, now, if they accepted you, and they didn't care that you said that, you wouldn't be, you wouldn't be sitting there talking about something, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You always say, I'm sorry, because they won't accept you. And that's too bad. And now that basically half the freaking United States know that you're sitting there doing that stuff, I want to know what college that you're going to get accepted to. So, good luck to you, my friend. On to the next story. Is there like a transition that goes like this? Because that's what I want. On to the next story. Okay, so the next one is, my man's BI is not... <sighs> is no longer a part of YG Entertainment. I don't understand why they won't put him back because that man's whatever his name is, the CEO isn't there anymore. So I like, can't, they just technically like resign him. I don't know. He was depressed and then he was thinking about doing some drugs. And that that's literally it. Like you thought I was going to say, and he did it and then he got wasted and then he got his other members to do it. Literally. No, he just thought about doing it. That was it. And, um, YG entertainment took it upon themselves to cancel his contract and kick him out of icon. Does that make a sense? Because it doesn't make a sense to me. This is bad for YG. Like, because like you're telling future people, like people who want to like, um, audition for YG entertainment. Now you're telling them like, dude, you have mental issues. Don't read that shit here. Like, people are going to be like, oh, well, I have mental issues, so I don't want to go there because I'm going to be wasting my life. Literally, 
um, to be training here and then they're just gonna kick me out or oh maybe like I might develop some type of mental issue in like the future and they're not gonna help me so I'm not gonna apply and what they're also doing is like people who are in the company they're basically saying like keep that shit in bro like you better not say nothing or we're gonna kick you out and report you to police bro even if you don't do nothing because I ain't never seen a police officer arresting somebody because they said they want to kill somebody like they didn't say well they thought they wanted to kill someone i don't know in general i feel like it just messes up messes it up for everyone because like you're making mental health more taboo and you're saying like well if this person is depressed they're automatically gonna start doing drugs and just because bi didn't actually do drugs that doesn't mean there's people who don't do drugs well i'm sorry that's what they have to they feel like they have to resort to and maybe they're feeling like they have to resort to things like that (coughs) anyways Um, maybe they feel like they have to, like, resort to things like that because you guys aren't helping. Like, I think as a company, you should be putting things in place, like, preventative medicine. You should be putting things in place that are gonna, like, help, like, your trainees and help your idols so that this won't be a problem in the future. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I'm not a Korean. I am not in the Korean entertainment industry. I'm just, um someone who watches it from the outside but i i just hope everything turns out to be well so that was enough for this segment of get a load of this bullshit with chelsea i hope you thoroughly enjoyed it because that is literally it it's quite literally it um follow me like subscribe i will see you the next time i feel like making a very boring video who is you no one because no one watches my videos i've i'm i'm really just doing this for fun like it, it's it's actually very fun and and what's the word therapeutic to like edit videos and stuff so yeah i hope this is not 20 minutes long because i really don't feel like going through 20 minutes of footage bye